Well, hello, beautiful people, and Merry Christmas. It's me, Sam, from your friendly neighborhood, Dunder Mifflin Paper Company, and I am here to review the new film, Poor Things. Been getting a lot of Oscar and awards buzz, uh, starring Emma Stone, uh, the new film form from Yorgos Lanthimos. Uh, he's the director of The Favorite, The Lobster, uh, The Killing of a Sacred Deer, and now Poor Things. Uh, so, uh, in terms of his films, uh, I like the lo uh, well. I like the favorite. I like Killing of a Sacred Deer. I like his film Dog Tooth. I love The Lobster, and now I love Poor Things. This is his absolute best film. It's also his weirdest, his bonk most bonkers. This is easily one of, if not the weirdest and craziest movie of twenty twenty three. And keep in mind, this movie has. <laughs> so many sexual scenes it's it, i'm surprised this movie did not get a nc-17 uh not only are there sexual scenes but there's a lot of very graphic nudity and very graphic and disturbing material um i don't even know how to describe this movie in terms of plot wise i feel like uh there's going to be a lot of people that are going to get impatient with this movie because it doesn't have your normal narrative, you know, first act, second act, and then third act. Um, and I can understand that, you know, I can understand people getting impatient with the pacing uh, and the runtime without credits at the end. Um, it, it, it goes at like two hours and 16 minutes. Me personally, I had no issue with the runtime or the pacing. I was so involved in the story. And that is mainly due to Emma Stone's probably her greatest performance to date. Um, if she gets a win, it's not going to be a surprise. I know she's going to get nominated for sure. I just don't think that they would give her the win, especially since she's already won one. But then again, this is such a phenomenal performance. Um, yeah, so I can see the, the whole runtime and the pacing uh, might be a, a bother for some people. But for me, it wasn't. Uh, I was entertained. This movie is a fantasy. It is a romance. It is a comedy. This movie was hilarious in very dark ways. It's also kind of a horror film. It's also a sci-fi film. Uh, the performances by the supporting cast, Willem Dafoe, uh, Christopher Abbott, everyone's great here, but the one that, the, the supporting actor that steals the movie is Mark Ruffalo. He's been nominated three times before, and he's going to get nominated, I'm telling you, he's going to get nominated again here, and I hope he finally wins. This is a very showy performance, a uh, very funny performance, but I hope he wins because, like I said, he has been nominated three times before, but I have a feeling that his Avengers co-star, Robert Downey Jr., is probably going to take it for Oppenheimer. If Robert Downey Jr. wasn't in the mix, this would be Mark Ruffalo's year, but yeah. So there's that. And then, uh, oh, obviously Christopher Melton from May, December. Um, he's up there in terms of who might win, but... Mark Ruffalo, easily one of his best performances. He's great. Uh, I love this movie, man. I'm I'm not going to go too much into the plot because uh, go into it fresh. It's weird. Don't watch it with your kids. I wouldn't even say watch it with teenagers because it's it's that. It, <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's bonkers. I love this movie. I mean, I love it. Now, would I watch it again? Probably not mainly because of a lot of the subject matters. Um, now, were there a few scenes throughout where maybe they could have trimmed it a bit here and there? Sure. And did at times, were they trying to balance a whole bunch of themes all at once and it just didn't work? Yeah, there, at times, I, I, could, I could see what they were going for. But, um, you know, it just sometimes it didn't work. And sometimes, for the most part, it did work. So overall, I love this movie. It's going to get numerous Oscar nominations. It's going to be a big awards contender. Um, yeah, it's great. It's great. If it's playing near you, you should feel lucky. 
and go check it out. I'm feeling a, uh, I'm feeling a light nine out of 10 for poor things. Guys, thank you so much. Take care. If you've seen it, let me know your thoughts. If you, you're nervous about seeing it, you know, let me know your thoughts as well. Take care.